This is Mr. Monroe, neurosurgeon. You're taking your knife to someone's head. The only difference between you and a psychopath is good A-levels. Dr. Mallory, you appear to be wearing my clogs. Dr. Mallory, these are clogs on your feet. How did you learn to suture so quickly? I'm wanting to. I'm leaving you. What, you're just going to stand up and go after 22 years? My daughter died on the operating table. Brain surgeon's daughter dies of a brain tumor. Long odds by anybody's book. You remind me of someone I don't like very much. Who? Me. Be there half an hour tops. I'm sorry, I've just come to pick up some things. Oh, that's very decent of you. You can start in the bedroom. I've been a little lax with the laundry. I don't want this to be difficult. Maybe I should come back when you're not here. What, so you walking out didn't make things difficult? A bit simplistic, even by your standards. Sorry, am I missing some of the more pertinent details? Your adultery? Hadn't. I'm really sorry, but I've told Nick we've split up. What did you say? He guessed that something was wrong. I'm sorry. I wasn't going to lie to him. Did you tell him why? I just told him we'd grown apart. I thought anything else should come from you. Right. Riverside Theatre, 50 pounds each way, Camden, 2.30. It's enough to choke a donkey here, are you sure? Not so sure. I don't see a problem. She's told Nick you split up, and you have split up. Yeah, but she hasn't told him about my affair. How do you think he's going to take that news? Well, fortunately, he's already got a very low opinion of me, so it shouldn't come as much of a surprise. So, when are you going to tell Nick the truth? Never. Sounds like a plan. I've got all the uh, referrals and admissions up today, including last night's emergency. You still here? What? Thought we agreed you weren't cut out for this. I never agreed to that. Sally, Anna told Nick. Can you believe that? What have you got for me? A double shooting. One for us and one for cardiac. Sounds fair. James Chadwick, 14, somehow got hold of a loaded handgun. Him and his younger brother Danny were playing around with it when Danny ended up getting shot in the chest. He called the ambulance. An hour later, he shot himself in the head. The bullet entered laterally in the right frontal area and exited out the right side of the forehead. Has he been scanned yet? Straight after he was stabilised in A&E. The results should be ready for you. By the way, the parents are split up and not talking. So he shot his brother in the chest, himself in the head, and they both survived. Sounds to me like he's not cut out to be a hitman. Just kids messing about by all accounts. Except with the handgun. How's the cardiac doing? Remnant's already operating. Now there's a woman who doesn't believe in foreplay. This is going to take a while. Should we go and talk to his mum? How do you go about talking to parents in circumstances like these? I'll stick to the facts. Medical facts. Keep it clean. Keep it simple. Minimum damage. So, we've uh, cleared out all the blood clots, mm. managed to find the damage in the heart to repair it, mm. but we are having a problem getting off the bypass machine. It's, it's going to be all right, isn't it? 
Tell me he's going to be all right. He suffered a very bad injury. Yeah, but why, why would he have a gun? I mean, where would they get a gun from? Has the boy's father arrived yet? He's with James. We can't be in the same room. Especially not after this, not now. Right, yes. Well, um, I've got to get back, so sorry. I'm sorry. What for? <laughs> There's a chapel in the hospital. If that was as peaceful in there. Oh, good. Another candidate for the empathy party. <laughs> you know me, always got a little emotion to spare for the needy. Brenda? Yes, yes, sorry. That's a bleed. We can't find it. James will go into surgery for his head injury. Mr. Monroe will come down and talk to you straight after he's operated. I know what you said. What about my other lad? What about Danny? But somebody from the cardiac team will be down to talk to you about him. I need to speak to somebody now. Bit volatile. He needs handling with care. Do you think you can do that? Not me you want to be talking to. Monroe's actually sat me twice already. He might be acting like that for reasons you don't need to know about. His wife leaving him. I know all about that. That's why I'm making room for allowances. <laughs> yeah, the bullet's passed through the front right side of his skull and nicked his right frontal lobe. He's a very lucky boy. And a bad shot. Good job he's right-handed. Yes. You're just being sycophantic or do you actually know why? Because the same angle from the left would have damaged his speech centre. I'm not as interesting as it could have been if he'd been a better shot and given himself a bilateral lobotomy. <laughs> That's my son you're talking about. I'm sorry, he's young. I'll talk to you after the operation, Mr Chadwick. Is that it? Is what it? This prick is laughing and joking about my boy trying to blow his brains out and you think I'm sorry he deals with it. I agree that this young man is a prick, but he's part of my team. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Chavik. I, I didn't realise you were there. There's another hospital can do this. What about another surgeon? I know you're going through hell right now, but your son will get the best care we can give. I promise you that. Your best? I don't think you give that about my son. What do I have to do to convince you that we do? You can let me watch. You can let me watch the operation. Okay, if that's what it takes, you have a seat here, Mr. Chadwick, Dr. Springer, tell Dr. Wilson to fetch Mr. Chadwick some scrubs. Now, please. Thanks for sticking up for me. Don't count that happening again. a meaningful rhythm? No. It's pressure's down. Come on, doctors. We all need to think. Blood must still be leaking from the back of the left ventricle. Still bleeding? Yeah, I don't need you to state the obvious. Have you got any ideas? Doctors? Ideas? Hmm? Before we lose him? OK, he's asystolic. I'm going to have to massage him by hand when we get him back on bypass. In, bypass back on, please. How are we doing? 
No. Okay. On the basis that any idea is better than no idea, I would welcome suggestions. Anything? Perhaps a bullet damaged the left pulmonary vessel, but it was sealed by a clot. That way it wouldn't have shown on the first operation. Good. All right, let's go with that. What if I'm wrong? Then he'll bleed out and die, and then might be the time to get emotional with his mother and not before. Mr. Chadwick, we're ready for you. Yes, got it. Trio proline. Out, get out, out. Good call, Dr. Winnie. Hello, Mr. Chadwick. This is the theatre nurse, Mrs. Wickens. What, what's going on? This is Shepherd, the anaesthetist. James has been anaesthetized and draped, and part of his head has been shaved and painted with antiseptic so that we don't infect him when we operate. Monroe? Can I have a word? What the hell are you doing? He's the patient's dad. Just trust me on this, will you? You okay, Mr. Chadwick? Monroe, I'm sure Mr. Chadwick's probably reassured by now. Are we okay here, Larry? Gases and blood's okay, yes? Yeah. Wickens, drill, please. Dr. Wilson, go and look after him. Nice, please. 